Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D and today is a review day. Yes, today as I promise, I'm going to do a review of one most popular easel, plain air easel on the market right now and it is a Strata easel. So, get your coffee, get your tea or whatever you're drinking and let's get started. Here we go. So before we start actually digging into this easel, uh, I would like to talk about plain air in general, plain air versus studio. Uh, I was driving this morning and I just realized that temperature is going up and you know I see more light or more sun outside. Day is actually going longer and the you know, first thing that crossed my mind, well, I need to grab my easel and go start going painting outside, uh, which is very good because we need to spend time painting outside uh, as well as we need to you know paint or spend time in our studios that I truly believe that this is how God created winter uh, for artists so we can kind of slow down and get ourselves in our studios and kind of you know spend a little bit more time in slow motion kind of slow motion um, uh, painting or you know working in our studio just just to chill from spring to fall this is why God created spring and fall for the artist to kind of start you know working a little bit faster because planar uh, work workflow or process is completely different than uh, studio process and we'll talk about this in, in another video but today that's a reason I decided wow this is a good time probably to start reviewing some product especially product for uh, plain air so here we go and we are going to talk about four main points reviewing the this easel or actually any easel so the first point it will be design design of this easel the second point will be actually modification of the easel. I learned uh, with all my easel that I constantly facing that I need to modify because it's not you know, convenient for me and I found some uh, some easels very easy to modify and some easel is very you know difficult to you know to modify it. So we will talk about modification and it's, uh, point number three will be quality of work or workmanship or durability or such and the last one will be the ease of use. How easy it is it is to use uh, on the field so let's get started with item number one the design as you know or maybe you don't know the strata easel was designed or strata easels uh, were designed by brian mark taylor young relatively young and relatively uh, famous uh, painter in the united states and overseas um, he paint um, I think probably majority of his painting are cityscapes, but I, lately I see a lot of landscapes and and inside the studio work and some other some other work. So um, I appreciate his um, you know his willingness to spend some time designing this easel and actually running the companies you know selling this easel. I know this is business for him, but as an artist, especially artist with you know name on the market. Uh, he's, dedica he's dedicated to this, uh, not because of the business, I think, uh, or maybe, I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea, but I appreciate that he spent time designing this and running the company and giving this easel to the artist uh, to enjoy. So this is big plus to him. And the story behind this design, and we're talking about design, so this is what I found on the internet, that he went somewhere, I think in Europe, and he had his wooden easel and he went on a trip to paint he dropped his easel and completely the easel was broken and his trip was basically completely destroyed because he didn't have any easels to paint and that's the story behind uh, this creation of this strata easel and then the main point of this is, um, as I understood from his you know, promotion video, was a actual durability and we'll talk about durability but we're talking about design right now and this is one of the first point of uh, you know talking about design this easel is made from aluminum so it's metal base i mean aluminum is a, base, is a metal which is kind of cool from one side if you look uh, as i said this is my number two easel on my list 
I love it. I spend time painting on this uh, easel. I know all the cons and pros. So let's talk about pros on this easel. So metal made aluminum actually as one, probably one sixteen uh, of the aluminum uh, sheets. Uh, on the back, let me turn this. On the back you have um, the hinges that will make this easel special because those hinges are uh, spring loaded. So meaning when you open and they will stay in the same position as you open and you have to apply some strength to you know um, to open the easel and actually close it and I will show you. So this is uh, another uh, pro um, or plus to uh, design of this easel. Uh, another plus is and I love this and I think everybody loves this the uh, locking mechanism. So it's right here. So this locking mechanism is actually works as the canvas holder and the locking mechanism as the one unit, which is you know perfect uh, because there is nothing right now on outside that actually catch in, when you're sliding uh, this easel in the back uh, compared to any other easels. So this is the beauty of this uh, you know with this easel. So basically, how to open this easel? You just uh, put your finger inside here. Here's a slot uh, to, to open this easel. Uh, just slide it inside, pull it toward you, and that just uh, you, you can see it's already open. So let me close it again and close it. And just slide it in and it's closed. So everything is closed. And then you want if you want to open it, all you have to do is just slide your finger, pull it a little bit. And this is this is it. This is open easel right now. So what do you have to do? Well, all, when you open it, you have to pull it, and you have to apply some strength. So you know, even pushing it down is like you know, it's heavy. It's heavy duty uh, uh, hinges. So you know, you can probably buy it just to exercise. You know, do morning exercise. I'm kidding. So you just pull it, and this is it. So basically, this is open easel. Uh, nothing is outside, nothing is inside, except this, you know, two plates that can, can kind of reset it inside for locking mechanism. Uh, also another pro or another plus for this easel is the canvas holder. Everybody loves it. Everybody, any artist that I spoke about and I talk about, you know, Strata easel, they said this is the most precious, uh, you know, uh, thing on this uh, easel that the everybody loves. So basically, as I said, this is your a locking mechanism to lock the easel and also canvas holder. So this is your top canvas holder and you basically, there's a plate right here that is screwed uh, to uh, the uh, top holder and there is a kind of hole uh, between the this plate and this plate and I'll show you how it works actually. So there's another hole inside here, uh, whereas the sliding holder is actually uh, sliding in to hold your canvas. So you can pull it out completely, and this is how it looks like from outside. Uh, it has some bow, and this works when you slide it in, it works as the holding. So this part is actually works against this plate and the top and top and the bottom works against the back, back plate, creating that, you know, not easy sliding uh, 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 kind of mechanism. I don't know how what's to call it. And you sometimes, you know, I'm constantly bending it to make sure it has that spring. So when you're sliding it, it's not easily falling. So this is a top mechanism, and the bottom mechanism is actually this small thing that you can slide out as well. And it's easy to replace. You didn't have to unscrew anything. So let's say if something happened to this, I'm not sure what can happen to this because this is heavy duty uh, aluminum. But for example, I don't know, maybe like a dinosaur came and just chewed this and you cannot use it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I came up with dinosaur. But something, let's say something happened to this. You have a spare one. All you have to do is just lift this up, slide this down, and that's it and you keep going painting. So if you look, let me take it out. If you look, there is, uh, let me put it against the white canvas. It's, it has a two latches, two, two kind of hooks on this side, which goes inside the bow's plate, top plate. And then this piece right here, and this holder, like, you know, if you can see it, it's actually a piece of metal that bended toward 
toward you when you're painting uh, was 45 about 45 degree so this is whole mechanism right here with a screw which holds the bottom uh, can uh, canvas holder on uh, top plate and those two hooks right here you can see it hooks that goes inside so this is how you slide this you just drop it basically and you can move it any anywhere you want so this is big plus for this e easel this is you know a huge plus for this easel uh, how this works to hold the canvas um, let's say I have 8 by 16 canvas all you have to do just lift it up lock it you know and locking I mean just screw it in put your canvas let me lower it down so it's in the camera and all you have to do just push it down and that's it and you're holding an entire canvas it's so easy and it's like unbelievable so when you're ready you just all you have to do just lift it up wet canvas just hold it and put in your wet you know a carrier easy so very easy I, I love this design and everybody loves if you have a, something smaller let's say you have something like you you do study work 516 which I have right now I don't like but you just lift it up and push it down that's it and it's five 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 by seven if you want to change you know rotate the canvas all you have to do just rotate it this way lift it up the top holder and push it down that's it very easy I, I just love this uh, this design I just you know I can say I'm in love with this but I like it very much <laughs> So this is about canvas holder, top canvas holder and bottom canvas holder and top uh, plate. All right, so let's move. And basically um, the cons or something that negative about this piece, to be honest, I cannot find. Uh, everything is plus, plus, plus. Uh, how the canvas holds, you know, if you take any brushes and push it, you have to apply power, you know, some strength to push it down. So it's not you know easily moving if you want to if you want to open it completely you can open it completely i can show you this is how it will open completely almost 180 degree maybe 175 or you know what this is 178 and 0.6 i'm kidding again um no i don't know it's it's looks like almost 180 so uh, i don't know what it is exactly so and as you can see I can actually you know what maybe I should exercise tomorrow morning just opening and closing this all right so this is a top portion of this easel beautifully made uh, very very uh, easy to uh, uh, to work with and five stars for the top now let's move to, to, to this part this is why you know, this is on on my list as number two easel I cannot say I don't like it's not the right like convenient so the first of all the uh, plastic and I know you will say you can replace and you can put any plastics yes 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 and the reason why because I'm using metal scraper and it's really hard to use metal scraper on this um, palette uh, it's a vinyl something palette very difficult to use this is something I don't like about this easel. Uh, even though I paint and I manage, I was using actually plastic scraper, and it was okay. Another kind of con for this, uh, for the bottom part, is uh, this is about one inch tall uh, borders uh, on the sides, and the reason he made it, I know why he made it this way and uh, so deep, uh, because of the construction of the easel, especially for hinges because you can find small hinges if he could manage or orders you know you know order somewhere to make sure the hinges are smaller and make the actual easel smaller uh, this way I mean the you know the deep deepness of the cannabis it's actually one inch and it's very hard to work with you know with the brushes inside and clean and everything I just I like something very you know very, very small again this is my preferences you may find this absolutely perfect or find for your style of painting or for your brush work for your hand for my hand for my I like to have everything open I would actually would love have you know canvas uh, or my palette like this completely no borders uh, but again this is just a preferences uh, 
And I spoke with several artists and everybody, you know, everybody agreed with me that, you know, if this would, would be smaller or could be smaller, this easel will be number one easel uh, on the market for all the ar artists despite the fact that it's actually a little bit heavier than any other easels and by the way the weight is two pounds and 14 ounces on this and this is uh, strata mini you can look at the strata easels online strataeasel.com i think all the specs um, are there for all the he's producing a lot of uh, or designing a lot of easels lately uh, there's e uh, regular like a normal size his first easel then mini, then macro, and then he created something that uh, reminds me um, prolific painters um, by Josh Bean uh, easel that I love right now. This is my easel number one. So he designed something like this, um, but from aluminum as well. So it's very durable. So this is design. Uh, also the uh, accessories. Uh, this easel comes actually it doesn't doesn't come with the sides. You have to order it separately, and you can order two wings. I call it wings. And again, design is absolutely you know amazing. Um, it's so well thought or, and designed. They come with this kind of bands right here, and I will show you where those bands are going. So. Also, the wing has the special notches for the brushes right here on both sides, on this side and on top and the bottom or bottom and top, whatever. Uh, one side is no bend uh, or slide and one side is actually with the, I mean, one side is with the slide and I'll show you how it works. So you can buy two, uh, for example, I have two. One is smaller, one is bigger and that they, what do you call it, nested. Uh, wings or holders. So basically, one is goes in, while one is going inside, and they design and look how they go. And there is no tolerance actually. So well made. I, I mean, well made and well designed. I can tell you that. Uh, so the slides, how that works? All you have to do is just slide, uh, slide the wings. I call them wings. Um, slide them on the side of the easel like this. And that's it. And then you can take another one, see that it's opening, or it's like slide, and you just slide it on the side of the easel, and it goes against the uh, um, the bottom part of the easel and holds. And that's it. And you can put your brushes right here, you can put anything you want. So I normally paint, when I used, used to use this, I'll use my uh, small one on the left and I actually ordered another piece so I can use it as my palette because this was too small for me so I'm using this and this as my palette and I'm using this as my brush holder and medium cup holder and some cheat sheet for the colors uh, so and this is how it looks outside when you paint uh, canvas over here two wings or two sides uh, holders uh, you can use it as a holder you can use it as your palette you can use as a three palettes if you want just order another piece of uh, this plastic right here and just put the silicone around glue it and that's it and um, how to um, put them together just lift them up lift them up put them inside each other and put them right here and i'll show you how to close it uh, when you're done this is the design and i i would give from the 10 star stars i would give design uh i would give probably 9.5 to be honest just you know, the thickness of the sides is uh you know um when i started working on this easel uh i didn't realize it was like a problem but later on um it was a it was a problem for me i was constantly thinking about like wow if this will could be just uh, you know maybe even quarter lower that will like will be beautiful all right so this is the um i would give 9.5 for design and how to um how to put it together is very simple you just lift this up this this up and by the way i never had a uh, um, accident just knocking this from this easel and they will fall with my brushes never for two years i was using this easel never happened so um and if i heard one uh, 
one artist told me that um, one of this when came not really maybe bend it and it was flimsy so all you have to do just just take a pliers this is aluminum just take a pliers and just a little bit squeeze it on both sides and that's it and this is how he fixed it all right so how to put it, put them inside one is goes inside this is nested plates or wings then put inside uh, now they will be you know moving inside so what, what I normally do I will just take the uh, paper towel and just slide inside make sure there there's no movement inside lower this down a little bit open this up push it down that to exercise and just push this let me show you and just push this squeeze this hold it and just push it down and that's it and take it from your easel I mean from your tripod and it's ready to go to your backpack all right so this is how it works on design as I said I will give 9.5 for design now point number two is modification so this is why I would give this you know I would lower from 9.5 to 9 9 stars from you know from 10 so I will give right now I'm giving 9 uh, because it is very difficult to modify since this is the metal uh, you cannot really attach anything just modify you know, drill the screw uh, you have to use a screw or knots and this is getting complicated so it is very difficult to, to modify and i'll show you when i will do some other easels i will, will show you how to, how easy it's mod, you know to modify just for your needs so modification is unfortunately zero but there's another plus we have to give to strata he has a lot of uh accessories on the side so they are kind of expensive uh, compared you know compared to other accessories uh, from other uh, other companies but the fact that he has a lot of it adds good because you can always like you cannot modify it just go buy it and attach it and use it so you have to concentrate, concentrate on painting instead of concentrating on modifying and doing some labor all right so this is all about modification so modification i cannot offer you any modification because i i found this and even though i at work i have a metal shop and wood shop uh, and and normally modify my all my easels but this one is uh untouchable so to speak so modification i'll give like from from one to zero i will give zero probably uh but on the other hand do you really need modify maybe not maybe you know for you it will be absolutely 10 stars because you can go to his site and you can purchase a lot of a lot of accessories all right so moving to next one is point number three will be quality of work and workmanship or durability and i can give you this is 100 percent 10 star can we move to 15 or 100 let's go to 100 stars I can tell you this is a hundred star product so how it's built it's like you know what it's like a tank it builds like a russian tank i'm not sure if the russian tank is a good comparison maybe not scratch that all right it's built like a rocket okay so anywhere you look you know even the like bending bending uh on you know this easel was probably banded on machine uh, metal machines heavy duty machines probably programmed and you know they have a holes to make sure when the bending you know the not compromising the strength of the metal the locking mechanism uh, it's very you know it's durable you can drop it actually you know uh, was you know was testing it on not on the asphalt or concrete I was afraid that my country will crack <laughs> Uh, but I tested on the wood or in, in a, I actually dropped it several times just to see what happened just, you know but you look at this easel and there's nothing's gonna happen to it. it's not gonna you know crack or damage and overall the durability is 100 you know let's go to 200 stars so durability is 200 stars I'm kidding so durability is you know 10 star absolutely um, quality of work you know 10 stars 100% workmanship is again all the easels are made and fabricated um, not by hands it's a mach machinery so every easel is the same in the size and the weight and, and everything so workmanship is 10 10 stars so overall uh, 
for uh, point number three, uh, quality of work, workmanship, and durability is 10 star. 100% 10 star. And uh, let's talk about uh, the the last the point, point number four, is ease of use. And I already demonstrated to you that very, very easy to use. So basically, let's go one more time. Uh, let's say this this easily in the, in the back. You pull it from the back. You know what? Time me. So let's say I pull it from the back. I put it in my easel. Pull it up. Open it up. Pull my wings. Pull my wings on one side. Pull my wings on the other side. Open my canvas holder. Put my canvas. Pull it up. Push it down. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to paint. Tell me how many seconds it is. So it's very, very easy to use. The only problem is the, you know, actually, let's scratch the problem. That's a problem about it. This is my problem because I cannot modify this easel. And maybe this is a good thing, not a bad thing. <laughs> um, but overall, I would 100% recommend Brian. Good job, 100% recommend this easel to uh, anyone uh, who wants to paint. Just, you know, this is probably even a um, good easel to have if you know you're going somewhere uh, in, like Rocky Mountains or not Rocky Mountains, but like mountains with a lot of rocks or even in the city or you know, you know somebody will be, uh, you can knock it out. And you don't want to take your, you know, wooden easel that you know it will be breaking. Or let's say you're going on a trip. Let's let's use Brian's example, uh, uh, his his story, uh, why he designed this easel. Took one easel on his trip and the easel was broken and he couldn't paint. So maybe this is a good easel for you for your, you know, trips for your travel. Take this because it's durable. You can actually, you know what? You can probably put this in the back and put it in uh, as a luggage when you're flying somewhere if you know how they sh you know how they throw those bags if they throw those bags nothing gonna happen to this easel guarantee you know what Brian you need to hire me as a sales guy so um, from 10 from 1 to 10 I would give this easel 9.0 from 10 and it, it, you know this is really high uh, high rating for, you know for um, the quality and everything overall design and uh, and durability and uh, ease of use uh, beautiful easel highly recommend uh, easy to use and just you know just beautiful design and as I said this easel were made uh, or designed by artists and designed for and built for artists so that's a huge plus uh, this will be all for today. Um, I don't know what else to say. Maybe, you know, a sip your coffee or your tea and uh, think about it. Maybe you have to buy it. I'm kind of on, you know, uh, on, on the road to do a lot of uh, reviews of the easels and maybe brushes, something for plain air because, as I said, plain air season is upon us and I cannot wait to go and paint outside as well as you probably. So if you have any questions, uh, about this easel leave your comments i will get to you as soon as possible and those people who already sent the comments they know that uh, i have my phone on me constantly i you know i like this channel right now i'm just i'm having so much fun just sharing the information with you and you know receiving comments it's really funny especially this time of you know of isolation if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe hit the bell hit the like or hit the like hit the bell i'm not sure where, where the like and where the bell um and stay tuned because a lot of videos are coming and uh, if you already subscribed guys thank you very much for subscribing and watching and you know messaging me I really enjoy it and I hope uh, the, the videos that I'm you know making are making sense for you uh, so I will see you next time Here we go.